Hi friends, boy, Miss Kumin and I and the kids, we so miss you. We are going to um, do a little bit of syllabication and I want you to watch because you don't have this page at home, but I'm going to allow you to do the other four on paper and then send me your work after you watch this video. So with consonant LE, it works similar to suffix endings or magic E's. We wanna label them first before we finish the syllabication. So if you look up at the sample here, they labeled their consonant LE first. The consonant is a T and then it ends with an LE. And then they then finished off their rest of their word, their syllabication, like finding the vowels, drawing the bridge, labeling the consonants and then dividing and then labeling the syllable types. So we're gonna do the same. And then I wanna see your practice with the four that I uploaded and you can just put them right on lined paper, syllabicate them nice and neat. And then you can send me a picture of your final work. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you are going to circle your consonant LE and you're gonna label it consonant L E. And then you're going to go ahead and start like you did before. You would label your vowels. But if you notice, there's no other vowels other than I, which means I can't draw my bridge. So this one's really easy. I have two syllables. Now I have to say this syllable to label it. Dwin. I. That means it's a closed syllable and then dull. Put it together, dwindle. Our next word. The first thing I'm gonna do is label my consonant LE. It has a G and then LE. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle consonant LE. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start finding my vowels, label my bridge, label the consonants, and so on and so forth. So this one has two vowels, so I can go ahead and continue syllabicating. So I have an I and an A. And then I'm gonna draw my bridge, label my consonant, and it's not my favorite pattern. This one, I have a V, C, V pattern, which means I'm gonna have to say it both ways to figure out where I'm gonna divide. So I could say phi nagel, phi nagel, or I could say fin a gull, finagle. And I know that that's a word, so I'm gonna go that route. If you're unsure what the word sounds like, you can always listen to it on dictionary.com to know where to divide. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide here. So I have two syllables I have to label, fin, which is closed, because I have i, and then a, that's open, gull, fin a gull. Finagle. Later on, I can look up these words if I don't know their meanings, and you can do that at home as well. My next word, I should know what this word is probably before I even syllabicate it, but that gives you an advantage. I'm going to go ahead and first circle my consonant LE. Then I get to go ahead and label my vowels E and A. I draw my bridge and label my consonant. Now I have to figure out where to divide. And because you know this word and you should know it, you should have an advantage of where to divide. Do I say e example or do I say x ample example? It's the second way. So x ample example. So I have a closed syllable and am, I hear a, ah, another closed syllable. So X ample example, and I can show that divide right here. Now at home, I want you to think, what would be my first step that I need to do with this word? Well, I need to label the consonant LE. If you said that, you're correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle consonant LE. And then I'm gonna go ahead and label my vowels. I have V and the E, or excuse me, E and E, labeling them with these. 
What's my next step? If you said draw the bridge, you're correct. And then I label my consonants. Yes, my favorite pattern, a VCCV pattern, so I know exactly where to divide. So I'm going to divide here, and I know that this is a divide as well. So M, I hear E, which means it's a close syllable. And M, Bez, I hear E again, not E, which means it's a closed syllable. The vowels are not saying their name. So I have M, Bez, Zul, M, Bezel. So that is a sample of how we syllabicate words with consonant L-E. It works similar to a magic E and also the suffix ending where it's a shortcut. We have less to syllabicate now. And a consonant L-E is different than a magic E. Remember, a magic E makes the vowel say its name. These end in L-E's and these consonants, of course, don't say their name. So there is a difference. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and you can freeze the screen right now, or you can look on the remote learning plan with these words. These are the four words that you're going to write on paper, and you're going to syllabicate nice and neat so I can see that you practiced syllabicating words with consonant LE. You can either write these down on lined paper, white paper, whatever you have at home. Okay. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the same steps. Label first the consonant LE. This one, you, it looks like you have to do two separate words. There's two consonant LEs. And then you're gonna go ahead and find the vowels, draw the bridge, label the consonants, divide, and then label your syllable types. I will also type these in to the remote learning plan so you can get the words from there, or you can pause the video right now copy these down on paper, do the syllabication, and then you're gonna take a picture and send it to me through email. Missing you all, I can't wait to see most of you on Monday, and then one of you on Tuesday, and then the other one comes back on Wednesday. And if you have questions, email me. Talk to you soon, bye for now.